welcome everybody. Uh, we're going to do our first trial one of the uh, Hobbit stove. So let's uh, get it started and see if it works. Hopefully uh, we don't start a fire here. So I'm just uh, priming the flue here first, get a bit of draft. smoke's going up the chimney so that's a good sign. That was, uh, there's quite a few bends here in the chimney and uh, it's not a long run but uh, sometimes I've heard of uh, you know you get smoke back if um, if the chimney's not designed properly so we didn't actually have an expert come in and do this so I'm glad it's working and uh, let's close the door see what happens. You'll notice right away with the uh, with the draft from underneath that it just it's pretty pretty crazy so I'm gonna close this that'll reduce the air and uh, let it go for a minute or two I've got the damper pretty much all the way open um, so I just want to talk about the chimney pipe so this is uh, L vent uh, normally with a, a wood stove uh, the to code here in Canada you need a class I think it's called class A chimney it's a uh, stainless steel on the inside and the outside and um, but we did some research and the Hobbit stove this thing's only about 20,000 BTUs and right on the back of the stove it says that the flue temperature is uh, 258 Celsius and this L vent it's generally used for uh, pellet stoves and it's rated for 300 so uh, would this pass code no probably but then again we're on a trailer so there is really no code that we have to follow um, but um, it should be completely safe. The temperatures will be under what it's rated for. And this, uh, this pipe is double walled and it's uh, stainless steel on the inside, galvanized on the outside. And uh, we've painted it. But uh, I'm going to open this up and maybe throw a little bit more wood scraps in there and um, get it going a little bit better. But so far, so good. Uh, over here, on the other side of the uh, stove, if you want to take a look at that, I've got uh, our fresh air intake right here, and I uh, I do feel a bit of a draft, so it is sucking in some some air. But uh, yeah, I'll throw some more pieces in there, and uh, we'll check back in uh, maybe once we've heated things up a bit. Okay, so it's been going for probably about five minutes. So far, so good. Um, we just put in some bigger pieces of wood and. Uh, it's not burning really well, so I'm just going to open the bottom again just to get some more air and it'll, you know, get a lot more airflow and it just starts right up. So, probably let that go for a few more seconds and go from there. Okay, so this thing's been running for probably about an hour now. It's, uh, we kind of found like a good uh, medium burn rate here. Um, it's a little on the hot side, uh, probably compared to how we'd be running it when we're in here, but uh, not bad for a first run. We'll get used to adjusting the damper and everything. Uh, so I just want to show you this handy little tool I've used. I've used this for the RV furnace and I've, I've used this on some of the tests we did on the wood stove outside before we moved it in here. And this is just a, an infrared thermometer. And it's a pretty handy tool. It'll let you kind of check uh, the temperature of your stove, your stove pipe, um, the thimble, the uh, heat shield at the back. So we're just going to do a quick check and uh, make sure everything is kind of reasonable. And then uh, that'll be it for today. So uh, right now we're uh, doing the top, the cooktop. So I'm at 240 Celsius. In Fahrenheit, that's uh, 467. Um, so that's like a little hot. Um, in the manual, it says uh, in between about 300 and 4, 450 is the range you want to be uh, running the stove at. Um, the outside of the pipe, 
is about uh, 200 Fahrenheit, that's 93 Celsius. And then um, right here, this is uh, the only piece of uh, single wall pipe we have. I'm at, uh, let's see if I can get a higher reading here. So at the hottest point is about 206 Celsius, which is 404 Fahrenheit. Uh, everything is fine so far. Uh, the one area of, that could be of concern would be back along the heat shield. Um, there's a hot spot here, we found it before. But uh, yeah, about the hottest it gets is about 80 Celsius. So that's on on the heat shield. You'll notice that from the single wall, it drops from about 200 to the heat shield down to about 80. And then there's another inch behind the heat shield. So the wall back there, I'm actually gonna test it later. Uh, I'm gonna take off one side of the heat shield and I'm actually gonna go test the wall temperature, make sure it's not getting too high. Uh, I did do some research and they basically said you don't wanna get your wood up above about 70 Celsius for long periods of time. Um, even at that temperature, it's probably safe, but there have been a few occurrences where wood has slowly charred at a low temperature and then combusted at a lower temperature. So we're just gonna make sure that we're staying below that 70 degrees Celsius on the wood surface. Uh, here, next to the heat shield. Um, oh, it's actually getting up fairly hot. So we may have to uh, extend the guard. So that's why we have are doing these tests. So we might have to put a bigger guard in. Um, that's a, that is a little concerning. We don't want it at that temperature. So uh, that might be something that will change. And. Um, so up here, that's like another area that we can check. We're at uh, 62 Celsius on the outside of the pipe. And then if you go in even about an inch on the pipe, we're only at 36, 37 Celsius. So um, I don't know if I talked about it, but basically where you see those bolts holding on that thimble, there's only wood just on the other side of those bolts. So up here, we're definitely good. We're only getting up uh, where the wood contact only into the 30 degrees Celsius. So it's not even close. So we're good here. Here, uh, yeah, I might have to put in a different guard because I don't want to have to be worrying about it at all. So we might have to do something there. All right, so that's it for this. This is the first trial run. Okay, so I'm up here on the uh roof of the house um, anyways uh, I thought I'd do a temperature check out here as well um, so far we only had that one surprise with the wall so we're probably going to uh, get a bigger guard uh, that's not an emergency though that uh, 70 degree temperature that's a that's like a long-term thing that's something that uh, has occurred um, only a few times as far as I know, but it, it, it has been a recorded occurrence where over years and years and years of being exposed to uh, 70 degree temperatures, the wood can actually um, spontaneously combust at a lower temperature. Um, maybe I'll try to find some links to that. There, there's actually some uh, studies that were published on that. So not something we need to worry about uh, over the course of a couple of months, uh, but it is something I'll be doing fairly soon. But uh, it's not going to delay us moving in here. Um, if anything, you know, I'm being overly cautious with uh, how I'm doing everything. But uh, that's what you do when uh, you're, you know, not following code. You have to uh, kind of figure things out and just be smart. Um, anyways, uh, and, and, you know, of course, we're not following code because of space restrictions. You know, you have to kind of be flexible. You can't, if, you do, if we did everything to the code, that thing would be, you know, six eight inches off the wall and uh, out in the middle of the room so um, anyways let's do some temperature checks here um, so we're at uh, this is in uh, Fahrenheit it's actually only 40 Fahrenheit so uh, let's go Celsius let's see here so even right here on the pipe we're only at about 13 Celsius the collar 10 Celsius, and then on the metal next to the shingles, uh, where are we at here? What is that? 11, 13 Celsius. So, um, it's actually cool, or is that minus? What does that look like? Yeah, that's Celsius. 
Oh, part of the reading could also be the galvanized. I think I was having trouble with the uh, readings on the galvanized before. Uh, but yeah, we're clearly... Sorry if I can turn that so you can see it. Clearly we're not even hot at all out here. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's just barely warm, to, like warmer than outside anyways. Um, and uh, you know, the, the smoke's not even that hot. I can put my fingers right in there, so. I don't think we have any temperature issues up here. And um, I mentioned it before when I was up here, and uh, like I said, I'm gonna have a post on it with pictures, but uh, inside the roof, um, we lined the studs with um, cement board and everything in that area is uh, non-flammable. So we have uh, rock sol ins insulation. They advertise as fire resistant. It's actually not flammable, except if you get up over like 1700 degrees it melts or something crazy. Um, and then the rest is like metal in there. So there's like nothing in there that can actually burn within uh, over five inches from from the pipe and that's like I said that's going above, above and beyond um, but that's what you got to do when you're you know kind of flying flying solo okay so just a quick little follow-up I did do a check behind the uh, heat shield there and uh, I, I w wasn't really able to uh, arrange it to look back there at the camera at the same time it's a little awkward with the uh, with the stove and everything um, but I pulled that heat shield back and got the thermometer in there and so the hottest temperature on the wall behind the heat shield is 39, I don't know if you can read that, but it's uh, 39 Celsius. Um, and I actually had this thing over fired for a while. Um, it's not going too bad now, it's burning about right now, maybe a little bit hot, but uh, I had it really hot. I actually got that hot spot up to about 99 degrees. And uh, most of the time when we were, um, testing it earlier it was getting up to around 80 degrees so I had it really burning like hotter than we would normally burn it and uh, and it still was uh, safe temperatures back there um, the cook surface here is uh, it has gone down a bit it was hotter than this but uh, yeah 437 and then back here we're up to uh, let's see here like high is 300 Fahrenheit, is that Fahrenheit? That's Fahrenheit. Um, yeah, 200 again back here, and that hot spot. Yeah, it has cooled off, but uh, anyways, I'm happy with how things are behind the heat shield. Uh, I don't think I need to worry. I think the wall there is cool. I just need to extend it on the right uh, six, seven inches. So that's what we're gonna do, and that'll be it for now with the uh, Hobbit stove. Uh, so far I'm pretty impressed I mean it burns really well um, haven't had any smoke come into the uh, into the trailer at all even with the door open so it, everything does seem to be functioning properly um, it's easy to use that's for sure um, but yeah I'm pretty happy with the unit and uh, we'll probably do a follow-up video uh, once we have the bigger heat shield and we're in here uh, maybe we'll do a follow-up follow video of the stove all right take care guys